It's Undertale time, baby. Let's go! Long ago, two ra- blah, 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 blah. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Abbott, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Let's go! It is never a bad time to play Undertale, or to replay Undertale. Just for some context, this is not my first time playing this game. <laughs> not even close. Um, originally, I did a traditional playthrough. I think I did the uh, just the generic, I don't know what you're doing run. I forget what that one's called. Just not, oh, not pacifist. But um, then I did a pacifist run. Then I did a genocide run, and I've done both. And I went back to redo a genocide run, and that's why I'm not playing on my save files, because I'm still doing that. But I'm trying to do... <laughs> I've been trying for many years now. <laughs> I can't do it. I keep having to restart, but I... Sorry. I keep trying to do a no-hit challenge, but it is not a thing. It is not going well, nor will it ever be a thing. So let's get into Undertale. Let's go. So excited. Thought we could, could control a little bit of volume. Uh, we're gonna be Tony, because, you know, what, who else would we be? <laughs> the jittering of this makes me uncomfortable every time I'm on this screen. I'm just like, <laughs> Tony! <laughs> is this name correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's get into it. And there we are. Awoken on a bed of yellow flowers. Oh. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Oh, golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very cu culmination of your being. <laughs> it's the culmination of my being, yes? I'm a, I'm a heart. <laughs> okay, I am, I, I see it and I can move it, yes. Oh, I did interact. Their souls are tough, weak, but can grow strong if you give it lots of love. What's love stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, what a nice flower. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! <gasps> you idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> huh? Go, Mom! <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torium, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Go, Mom! <laughs> Toriel's best, 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 best tutorial character ever made. The shadow of the ruins loom above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. And 
our first save, the Ruin Entrance. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this game for people. I'm so happy to be playing this game and voicing these characters. This game is just, again... Welcome to your new home. There we go. I just had to adjust my headphones so I can hear myself and the game pretty well. Um, anyway. Yeah, this game, I don't think there's ever a bad time to play this game. I also don't think that there's ever a bad time <laughs> to replay this game. This game is, uh, I think, like... Beacon Pines, I found at a really, like, in, like pivotal point in my life. Like, it meant a lot to me because of what I was going through. This game just, like, I play this game and I'm just brought back to, like, a happy place. This is just a happy game. When you when you, when you you don't kill everybody, <laughs> of course, it's a happy game. Otherwise, you're just a monster and, you know, you're not... Oh, <gasps> I said the thing. <gasps> oh, no, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said... Oh, no. <laughs> no, you're, you're a terrible, terrible human. That's what you are. You're a disgusting human. Monsters are even better than you. Anyway, let's let's get back into it. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you on the operations of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Hmm. <laughs> Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you will need to flip. Thank you, Go Mom. I actually want to see if... Mm, there really is no way to lower the volume for me, is there? Other than to just take off my headphones. Okay. Eventually. I just want a little bit in my headphones. There we go. I kind of have them sitting on the back of my head, so hopefully it's a little better. Press A to read signs. Thank you. I didn't know that. Now I do. Stay on the path. Oh, di damn! <laughs> oh. It, uh, she blocks your path until you press it. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, the process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay, let's try talking to the dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much of a conversation. It doesn't seem much for conversation. It's not much of a conversationalist because he's a little bit of a dummy. Toriel seems happy with you, though. You won, and you earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, frog. Frog gets attacking. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Let's go. Well, let's just, let's just... Let's just compliment. Frog, it doesn't seem to understand what you say. But was flattered anyways. Well, that, that's nice. <laughs> she legit. I love that fucking attitude face. <laughs> so good. This is the puzzle, but... 
Oh, this is just the part where she just does it for you. I just didn't, I didn't, I, I thought I pressed A close enough to her. I guess not. Anyway. This is the puzzle, bud. Here, take my hand for a moment. Talk about a hand-holding tutorial. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that noise was. Oh, so sweet. What a good go, Mom. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a different request to ask of you. Uh, I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. <gasps> oh crap, we're on our own. Oh, this room's a long one. <laughs> I forgot how long this room was. Oh, and yeah, I love this part. She's just hiding, and if you click on it, there's just dots. And then there you go. <laughs> Greeting, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. Try that again. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay, well, we have a, a cell phone. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello! I hope that's sufficient. Hee <laughs> hee! Click. Eh. Go mom's great, but we got we got places to be. Uh oh. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? No. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. O okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still in the room. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Okay. Be good, all right? Click. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. And then it says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah. You take a piece of candy. Press X to open the menu. And there's our monster candy. And we'll drop a little quick save. Playfully crackling through the leaves fills you with determination. Fully restored HP. HP fully restored. Whatever. <laughs> and off we go. Oh, frog it. Eh, let's 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 comp. Eh, you know what? We compliment him. Let's threaten him. Froggen didn't understand what you said, but he seemed scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. <laughs> He seems reclusive to fight you. Can I spare him? Yes, I can. There we go. We earned two gold. On our way. And then this part. Yep. Sorry, I've got to just like blah, 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 blah through in this part, but I think everybody's kind of seen the beginning of this game. I just want to get to like the voiceover parts, so. Away with you, Froggit. Good little frog. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? 
cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, I'm a cinnamon kind of guy. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn your nose... Oh, try that again. Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Thank you, Goat Mom, for being so great. Three out of four gray rocks are meant to push them. <laughs> you push them. <laughs> Let's push. Oh. Ugh, frog. Frog has four attack, five defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. <laughs> Ribbit. Push that rock. And I. I. Oh, you guys are going to see if I remember this properly or not. Oh, and then here. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, so it's down, up. Ooh, mold small. Mold small. Molds small. <laughs> Blocks the way. Oh, we can just spare right off the bat. We don't even have to interact. Just gotta, gotta remember. I remembered where it started, at least. Let's see what I can do. I can... Let's check out. Let's check out Mold Small. He's got six attack, zero defense. Stereotypical. Curvaceously attractive, but no brains. <laughs> sexy wiggle. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, sexy wiggle got me got me distracted running into those white little white pellets. Oh my god. Just ruminate. Oh my god, we we have to flirt with it. You wiggle your hips. Moldspore wiggles back. Uh, what a meaningful conversation. <laughs> All right, we'll let it go. We won't. We won't intimidate it. I think was the other option. We won't. We won't be mean to the mold spore. Or mo mold small, small. And then we go over, and then we go over, and then we go up, and then we go over. Yes, I did. And then we go over, and then we go up. Boom. Whoa Excuse me. Oh. Hello. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? All right. How's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, okay. Think I got it. What a good rock. Was that helpful? Oh, keep running into uh, What are what let's let's just do it once. You lie immobile with molds more. You feel like you understand the world a little better. How oh, lovely. So wait, it was Oh, imitate! I thought it was in, like in, oh my god! I'm such I'm so bad at quick reading. I don't read words. I just like pick up the first few letters and I'm like, yeah, that's what it was. It was intimidate. No, it was imitate. You fucking idiot! <laughs> so let's, let's leave mold small alone. Hey, yo! What the? F hey, man! Oh, oh! You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thank you, Rock. See, I only knew you had to do the, the talking, Rock, because I've watched a speed run of this. <gasps> Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Mouse hole. The cheese has been here quite... Oh. The cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> oh, let's go. Are they gone? 
<sighs> this ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, <laughs> pretending to sleep. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Move it with force? Nah, I don't want to use force. I just want to walk around. Z Z Z Z. Oh, okay. So I have to move him by force. Okay. Yes. Here comes Napster Bluke. <laughs> Let's check him out. Got ten attack, ten defense. This monster doesn't seem to have the sense of humor. He doesn't have a sense of humor. Aw, oh, poor boy. Oh, I'm really funny. <laughs> yes, are you? You are, Napster Bluke. I love you. Oh, what does it say? Napster Bluke is staring into the. T okay. Uh. Let's, uh, let's cheer for him. You get an absolute uh, patient smile. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Napsilook looks just a little bit better. Can we mercy him? No, we can't. Um, uh, Let's flirt with him. I just wait. Ooh! <laughs> Napsaluk looks just a little bit better. Threatening. You give Napsaluk a cruel look. Go ahead, do it. He looks just a little bit better. Tell Napsaluk a little joke. <laughs> Keep cheering for him. Wants to show you something. He try. <laughs> it's called a dapper block. Do you like it? I love it, Napster Blue. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, Napster Blue. Great character. Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. Leave 18G in the web. Uh, let me read this again. Sp spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. And you know what? You know what? We'll support. We'll buy a spider crawler down. Gave you a donut. Oh, some spider crawled down and gave you a donut. How oh, nice. While I'm at it, I'm gonna take a sip from my water bottle. Oh. So happy to be playing this game again. Did you miss it? Uh, did you miss it? Spider Bake Sale down into the right. Come eat food by, made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Uh, my friend never listens to me. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing B. That's right, pressing B. Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> Never gonna skip that text. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, hey, nice one! God, excuse you, me. I heard using. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. It seems you can choose them. Oh, I'm giving him Napster Bluke's voice. I think I just gave him my normal deep voice. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yes. It seems you can choose the, them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog theme to border. So it's just pointless. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wearing a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's bad. It's very helpful. 
it is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. <gasps> Hello. <clears throat> this is why I need that sip of water. I knew Toriel's voice was coming up. Hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Thanks, Go Mom. Mig, mig, migus, migus, mig, migus. Stop. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll check him out. Yeah, seven attack, five defense. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Oh, okay. <laughs> Filthy single something. Oh, I'm just dying. Hang on, you gotta chill out. Uh, we'll talk. I don't care. Oh, so maybe if we get rid of our little friend here. I don't know, like a long time. <laughs> yeah, little dance bud. <laughs> and we'll spare him. And we're off. There is just one switch. And if I remember correctly, it's here. Hey, I'm good. But I can't, I want to go to the other rooms because there's characters. Oh, looks drew near. <laughs> Hello, looks. Uh, we'll just check him out. Attack and defense. Don't, don't pick on him. Family name is Eyewalker. <laughs> Good little Skywalker. Play on words, pun. I don't know what it would be. Um... We, 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 he doesn't want to be picked on. Finally, someone gets it. We'll spare him. And we found that switch. But we have some, some, some friends to go and talk to. Vegetoid came out of the earth. <laughs> Vegetoid. He has six attack and six defense. Serving size, one monster. <laughs> uh, not monitored by the USDA, unfortunately. <laughs> Five locally, very locally. Ooh, ooh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my uh, monster candy. Very unlicorice like you received on HP. Fresh morning taste. Uh, let's talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh, God. Uh, dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. There we go. What a good Vegetoid. And I think our friend is over here. There we are. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hit the wrong one. I was just trying to go so fast. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly. Can't they? Oh well. <laughs> Later naps to Blue. Our door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. So, yeah, you can... Ugh, oh, Vegetoid. What are you doing, buddy? So we have blue, green, and... Is that yellow or green? I'm... I don't know. Yellowish green. <laughs> we have blue, yellowish green, and, and, and red. So we have blue, yellowish green, and red. So now we need to hit... 
If you can read this, press the blue switch. It's the switch. It's a switch. Press it. You hear a clicking sound. Oh yeah, we do. If you can read this, press the red switch. You hear a clicking sound. Well done. If you can read this, press the green switch. You hear a clicking sound. Oh! I'm just gonna... I'm gonna flee. You escaped. And I think that's where we're supposed to go, so let's head this way instead. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were, or... We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. You found a toy knife. Eh, it's just a toy. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. You, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it for any longer. Come, small one. Let's go. Oh, every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. And we shall save. And off. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Ooh, we're going. This is it. Aww. I love that sprite of her holding her hand. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, and the head pats. Oh. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. <laughs> sleepy, sleepy. And we awaken to a slice of pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. And back to sleep. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. There we go, turn our light on. I love the light controls the music too. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed that in this game, but... I know I'm not the first, because both of the songs are cute and adorable, and they sound like, um... Oh, what do they sound like? Those things, those little wind-up uh, music boxes. There you go. And then I think if we go all the way down here, we can do this. It's you. Room under renovation. Ah, yeah, we can't go in there. I think we can go in Mom's room. Go to Mom's room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Do we? Yeah, you know we're gonna read it. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the... The rest of the page is filled with jokes of the similar caliber. <laughs> It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. 
known more commonly as water sausage. <laughs> you peek inside. Scandalous. <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. Thank God. <laughs> That's our goat mom, man. <laughs> This, uh, I'm looking at it right now. This first episode might just be a little bit longer. I might speed some things up. I might fast forward through some of the repeat fights and stuff. But I want to, I just want to get through this whole tutorial section in one go. And I hope that it's not too long. Up already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I wanted to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting book. Oh. Try that again. I wanted to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 U Zeus's... <laughs> 72 Zeus's? <laughs> That's a lot of gods. <laughs> it is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? I'm gonna go with that. Interesting. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Okay. Okay, goat mom. And then I think... For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. The size of the pie intimidates you. Yes, that's what it does. It intimidates you. It doesn't inflate you. <laughs> the size of the pie intimidates you too much to, for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Instead of a cutting board are cookies cut uh, wait oh my god <laughs> inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters how cute i think if we click on the fire the fire isn't burning hot just pleasantly warm you could put your hands inside it's a history book here's a random page Trapped behind the barrier uh, and fearful of future human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> oh, we got somewhere to go now. Where we going? We going downstairs. Da -na -na -na. Go, Mom! You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, I want, I want to go through that door. I want to go outside. I want to go play outside with the squirrels. <laughs> Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Nah, I won't go play outside. I won't go see what's outside. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go see what's going on outside. I think it's gonna be fun out there. You want to leave so badly. Hm. You are just like the others. 
There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. What? Oh, 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 shit! Mom, fight! We'll check her. She's got 80, oh, 80 attack, 80 defense. Knows better, <laughs> knows best for you. Yeah, she does. She, she's got a face that says, I know best for sure. Ooh. Tutorial looks through you. Oh, please don't. You couldn't think of any conversational topics. Damn. She's preparing a magical attack. Let's, uh, spare. She just dots. She's acting aloof. I'll spare you. I thought that one, you skipped it if you hit the hand. I didn't, oh, I didn't hit the hand. <laughs> it's like, I thought I skipped the, the thing if I did the thing. Yeah, you didn't do the thing, you idiot. <laughs> More dots. She's looking through us. Oh, a little puzzled. What are you doing? Attack or run away? Nah, Mom. I know better than that. I know that if I take enough damage, you won't even hurt me. What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. Go away. Let us go, Goat Mom. Come on. You know better. You know best. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. What a good goat mom! <laughs> If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, Goat Mom hug Sprite, so cute. Love you, Toriel. Love you, Goat Mom. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, Goat Mom. Bye, Goat Mom. Bye, lady. Bye, lady. Bye. Love you, lady. Bye. <laughs> oh, a little look back. And so we pass through the gate, and we go down this long hallway, and we're gonna keep on going. It's gonna get a little brighter. We're gonna keep on going, and it's gonna get even brighter. And we're gonna keep going, and it's gonna keep getting... I'm gonna stop this joke, because it's, it's just gonna get old. And here's the door. Oh, this fucking flower. Flowey. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart. Don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die. And you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me 
inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is in reconciled. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Love that laugh. Screw you, Flowey. You're a jerk. Just right now. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And that is where we are going to end episode one. Thank you, Toby Fox. Thank you. Amazing job. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, Temmie. Thank you, everybody who worked on this. God, it's such an amazing game. And so, we will pick up in the next episode with the start of our adventure. So happy to be playing this game. So happy to be bringing it to y'all. So happy to be sharing it. And thank you so much. If you made it this far and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hang out, maybe you come back for one, two, three more episodes, maybe the whole series. I don't know. But if you watch this and you made it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you doing that so much, and I appreciate you watching this video. If you watched a little bit, you watched a lot, I don't care. You made it this far, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing wonderful out there, and I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever you've got going on. And as always, take it easy, and peace.